From months and months of teasing the greatest fight of the year to multiple attempts of negotiations to make it happen, it seems like Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk won't see the light of day. Their unification fight fell through, and here's why. Where's Alexander Usyk, the rabbit? Hey, rabbit! 15 stone little midget beat a bodybuilder. Well, I ain't a bodybuilder, sucker. I'm going to write you off. I already done one Ukrainian country. Fury and Usyk just can't seem to agree on a contract. Bad news for boxing fans because there's no match on April 29th at the Wembley Stadium. Tyson Fury keeps asking for more and more, and Usyk isn't seeing eye to eye. Both the professional boxers were set to face each other after months and months of online feuds. And this was pro boxing's most anticipated fight of the year. But it's just not happening anymore. The Gypsy King wanted a 70-30 split of the money made in his favor. And as unrealistic as it sounds, Usyk actually agreed to it. So you know that he was really trying to make the fight happen, but Tyson's list didn't stop. I mean, if a boxer with WBA, WBO, and IBF World Heavyweight titles is willing to agree to a 70-30 split, you take it and go on with the fight. But the Gypsy King just won't stop. He keeps wanting more and more. On top of the unrealistic split, there was also controversy over a bilateral rematch clause that the loser could trigger. Usyk's team asked for a 70-30 split in the Ukrainian's favor in the rematch fight if he won this one, and Tyson was only willing to go as far as 50-50. This was only if the rematch bout was to happen in the UK. As if these issues weren't putting the fight in jeopardy enough, Usyk played his cards as well. He wanted Tyson Fury to donate a million dollars to Ukraine out of his pocket after the fight. Greedy belly, I accept your offer. 70-30 split to fight with you on April 29th at Wembley. And this is where the talks really broke down. The Ukrainian had every right to put his foot down with a condition after accepting a 70-30 split, right? The Brit should have just accepted this for the sake of the fight, but he didn't. Tyson Fury has a net worth of $65 million, and he was planning on making as much as $500 million from his bout with Usyk. Now, I know it sounds like a stretch, but with all the trash talking hyping up the fight, he might have been able to make an amount close to that. Pay-per-views have been through the roof lately, and and for a fight this big, it isn't impossible to make $500 million. And $1 million is just a fraction of what he was planning on making, so it wasn't a big deal if he agreed on donating it. Usyk just wanted to do something for his homeland, but Tyson loves his money and isn't planning on parting with even a fraction of it. So the fight was called off, and a lot of people got mad, including Usyk's promoter, Alexander Krasik, who has a lot to say about what went down. We are at the same point. Uh, the negotiations now go live in Instagram. Uh, so we see both fighters exchanging messages, and that is actually the point with the terms and things like that, but uh, it's still pending. Well, uh, they were under discussion, but uh, they are not, not resolved yet. While talking to Sky Sports, Alexander went in-depth about what went on behind the scenes. He said that he was disappointed for Usyk, who really wanted the fight to happen, and even more disappointed for fans around the world. I would love to see this fight. I would love to make it happen as the promoter. Usyk would love to be part of such a huge fight. But from my perspective, I don't believe it's possible. The boxing promoter said that it was the Ukrainian side who pulled out of the negotiations, because Usyk wasn't willing to bow his head down anymore. He also shared Tyson Fury as he said that only fighters who don't want to fight overprice themselves to get it out. When asked about Fury's crazy demands, he said that the list was so long that he didn't have enough time to go through everything. Fury's boxing promoter, on the other hand, has a little hope. Frank Warren says that both parties still have till the 1st of April to negotiate. It means he's got a big platform in the, in the States. <clears throat> it means that He's on the biggest platform in the States and with the biggest sports broadcaster. They've got nearly 3 million subscribers. Um, it doesn't get any better than that. And it, it means now that Tyson, for example, wouldn't have, won't. But it just seems impossible now, especially because Usyk himself said he'd had enough. So has Krashek. And they're not the only ones. Fans are furious at Fury for letting the fight fall through, no pun intended. Usyk's one of the best in the boxing game right now, especially after his win over Anthony Joshua for the second time. Fury, on the other hand, is also reigning in the boxing world. He is the current WBC champion, and he beat Deontay Wilder via TKO. 
0 for that title. They're both undefeated and the best in the game, so a fight between them was a treat to boxing fans. And they really thought they had it this spring. People have been waiting for this for so long now. Fans took on to different social media to express their anger. One wrote, Fury is scared, simple as that. Another unhappy fan said, Always been a big Fury fan, but this stinks. Looks to me as though Usyk called Fury's bluff. From what it looks like, he just didn't have his head in the fight. It's like he never wanted to make it happen in the first place, and it could be because he's scared. When you have an undefeated pro record, you want to keep it that way, but the fans would have really loved that one. Especially since Tyson and Usyk really hyped it up by taking shots at each other on social media. Don't we all remember when the Ukrainian gave the Brit a nickname? He kept referring to him as the Belly, which is a nod to Tyson's physique as a heavyweight. Usyk said that he wasn't big in trash talking and everything he said about Tyson, he meant for good fun. He said that Belly is a cute nickname and Tyson shouldn't find it offensive at all. And I'll give it to him, it is kind of cute, isn't it? Of course, Tyson has a nickname for his opponent too. He called Usyk Rabbit. As he has said several times, Rabbit, I'm coming after you. Rabbit, you're getting it, Rabbit. Fans really love their interaction on social media. Usyk, calling out Gypsy King, you pathetic little call out, Dossa. Rabbit! I'm coming for you, Rabbit. You're getting it, Rabbit. And I'll tell you what else. I'm going to bust you up real bad, you little middleweight. I'm just going to slap you into a big pile of tattoos sometime. It's kind of like what Jake Paul and Tommy Fury had, and thank God they're done with their grudge fight. Too bad that fans won't be able to witness Usyk versus Fury anytime soon. Since this grudge fight isn't happening, what are the boxers' future plans? Well, we know for a fact that Usyk's got a plan B. He's planning a title against WBA challenger Daniel Dubois. The Brit is well-placed to challenge the pro boxer, although he's got an injury to heal first, which he sustained while beating Kevin Lorena in his last fight. Dubois is also managed by Frank Warren, so the boxers are already negotiating, and this one might see the light of day soon, because I'm sure he has no crazy demands, right? We'll have to wait and find out. As for Fury, his future kind of seems in a blur right now. He'd been training to fight Usyk, and now he's called that one off. So what's next? Well, there's a possibility that he might face Deontay Wilder for a fourth clash, and the Brit even showed interest in fighting all the influencer boxers in a single night for a Misfits event. In fact, he wants all of them from Jake Paul to KSI, and all in a single night. As crazy as it sounds, it might actually happen. Because you never really know what's next for influencer boxing. Tyson's talked about how he's not a fan of influencer boxing, but there's a lot of money in it, and we know Fury loves that. But the wait for the most awaited bout, Fury vs. Usyk, is set to continue. That's all for why Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Usyk's fight is off.